What's up, Norwich Nation? How's it going? So we've all had weekends or practice sessions where there's that one driver that won't get out of our way. It seems like their sole mission on the racetrack is just to ruin your session. No matter what you do, there's no way you can get by this driver without making some kind of contact. And even once the pass is made, you're not sure that this driver is going to let you go by. They're probably going to throw it back underneath you and create just an awful race experience for you. So the question is, what do you do with this driver? Now, this is something that you guys have been asking me quite a bit in my DMs. And so this is something that I want to answer. Now, before we get into the video, I just want to say that I am not encouraging rough driving by any means. Everything that I'm saying in this video is for certain use only. It's only if this driver is not getting out of your way and not allowing you to have a good race. This should be a last resort only. And so hopefully knowing that you guys will use this information wisely. But before we get into the video, I just want to say make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. It helps me out a lot knowing you guys are supporting this channel and it helps me to bring you guys awesome content like this. Also, make sure to get your Norberg Nation merch Check the link in the description and the link on my Instagram and Facebook. That's where you'll get all the information for the Norberg Nation merch. And with that being said, let's get started with the video. Okay, so I'm going to run you guys through a few scenarios that I think are the most common when you're dealing with a frustrating driver. The first one is in practice. Now there's a driver that you pass and you're getting ready to throw down a flyer lap and they pass you right back. And so you take that and you go to the next corner. Now you pass them and then they pass you right back. And it seems like this driver just wants to race. It's practice, but they're insisting on having a race or even blocking you into the corner sometimes. How do you handle this driver? This is something I tell all my drivers that I work with. In practice, it's best you just let it go. Now, I know that sounds simple, but there's so many times that learning to be in control of your emotions on the racetrack is super helpful. So this little practice of letting stuff go and just backing off and letting the driver get as far away from you as possible is a super good lesson just when you're practicing. It allows you to get calm and take yourself out of the situation completely and remember the bigger picture of what's going on on the racetrack. Normally, if you give a good enough gap, the driver will be focused on putting their lap down and less focused on blocking you, and you can go out there and just put down the laps that you need to do. So in practice, if you're dealing with a rough driver, the best case scenario is just to let it go, be the bigger person, and then when you come into the scales, maybe talk to the person, let them know that that wasn't really that appreciated, but just keep your head on you in practice. And now we're going into a race situation. And what do you do in a race? Because obviously you can't just back off and let this driver get further ahead of you. The goal in a race is to pass and to keep going forward. So how do you get by somebody who's just being a nuisance and not letting you pass them? They're making the race miserable for you and everybody stacked up behind them. So what do you do? Well, there's two things. You can pass the driver and make sure they don't pass you back, or you can just get rid of the driver altogether. Now I'm sure your mechanic and your dad are probably screaming over the fence just to get rid of the driver all at once, but honestly, that's not the best option. Because number one, that's gonna leave the decision up to the stewards and you might end up getting a penalty over it. And number two, you're making an enemy and you never know when that driver is gonna be behind you and wanting to return the favor. So let's talk about the first option, which is passing the driver and leaving no space on exit. So a common mistake a lot of drivers make when they're trying to pass a driver and make sure they're not going to get passed on the exit is that when they go to pass the driver, they go to the inside of the driver and like to pinch them out super wide on the entry of the corner. Now, if you're dealing with a smart driver, they're going to recognize the pass that you're trying to make. They're going to understand that you're trying to run them off the track on the entry of the corner, and they're just going to let you go by and back off and get back on your bumper on the exit of the corner and then just pass you back again. So we're trying to eliminate that happening and we're trying to make it so that you pass the driver and that they do not pass you back. So how do you do that? The key to this is to catch the driver in front of you off guard. You want to surprise them going into the corner. You want to pass them late into the corner and beat them down to the apex. Now this is where it gets important. You want to have your side pod at their front tire. You want to make sure you're that far ahead of them that you've claimed the apex. Now the key is that you don't have to be super fast off the corner because you're going to be eliminating the racetrack on the exit of the corner. So you've gotten your side pod at their front tire. As you come off the corner, just run the normal racing line. You're far enough ahead of them that you've taken ownership of the corner. 
and now you're giving the driver the only option of to run into you and run into the dirt or lift and get back in line. And either of those options work great for you because they will have to slow up their momentum and they're not gonna be able to get back underneath you going down into the next corner. But the key to that is to catch them off guard. A good driver is gonna recognize when they're gonna get past and they're gonna be able to set you back up to pass you right back. But if you catch them off guard, that's gonna take away their ability to set up and get you back. So surprise them going into the corner, take ownership of the apex and then eliminate any racetrack on the exit of the corner. Allow them to make the decision for themselves. They either can run off the track or they have to lift and get back in line. Allow them to initiate the contact. Let them know that this is my racing line and if you wanna make contact, that's up to you. But if you don't, you're more than welcome to back off and let me have the position. Again, this will ensure that the driver won't have enough momentum to immediately pass you back and you should have a few corners before you have to worry about another driver. And now the second option is just to move the driver altogether. Like I said before, do not do this unless you absolutely have to. I've had it in my career where there's those drivers that for whatever reason, they just don't want you in front of them. They're willing to ruin their race to make sure your race is ruined as well. And in that case, it's completely acceptable to move them out of the way and to make sure your races run well. So how do you do that? A lot of drivers make the mistake of just nailing the driver in the braking zone. And while sometimes that works, honestly, a lot of the time an experienced driver is gonna be able to have enough time to still make the corner. You're not really accomplishing anything because you're just messing up their braking zone and your braking zone as well. Because you're going into the corner extra fast as well to hit this driver, you're gonna miss the corner and have a terrible exit off and it'll be unlikely that you get by them on the exit of the corner. So how do you move a driver correctly? It's pretty simple. I've actually looked to NASCAR drivers for this because they're the kings of moving drivers that are in front of them. And that's basically where you'll learn all of your moving technique. The key is to get underneath the driver in the braking zone. What I mean by that is you wanna be on their bumper in the braking zone. You wanna be encouraging them to go faster into the corner. You're not laying into them in the braking zone, but you're adding just a little bit of extra speed so that when they get to the center of the corner, they have to change their lineup. Now, when they get to the center of the corner, that's where the carts are gonna start loading the most. And this is the most important part of this move, is when the carts are loaded into the corner, they're at their absolute peak of grip. And any little extra speed that you give them is gonna make that grip exceed the limit and they're gonna slide wide off the corner. So you get on their bumper in the braking zone, add that little bit of extra speed, wait for the carts to load up in the center of the corner, then increase the speed that you're giving this driver and then they're going to slide wide and you're going to be able to take a good line off the corner and hopefully beat them to the next corner. Again, use this wisely. Don't go out there and just do this every single lap because that is not acceptable, but this is something that you can use if it comes down to it. And the key thing with this as well is just to make sure you're doing this move smart. You don't want to just nail the driver in front of you. You want to make it so that they don't have time to anticipate the hit. If they can anticipate the hit, they'll probably slow down fast enough and be able to still make the corner. But if you do it the correct way, they shouldn't feel that much faster in the corner until it's too late. And in that case, they're gonna run wide off the corner and you'll still be able to make the corner. As well, this maneuver also doesn't just shoot the guy into the barrier. They're actually still gonna be able to make the corner, but you'll be in front of them on the exit of the corner. And now the last thing I wanna say is how do you avoid being punted or moved on the racetrack? And now that you know how to move somebody on the racetrack, you need to know how to avoid getting moved on the racetrack. If you do this, you probably aren't gonna get many friends, and so this is something that you need to know before you go out for the next race. Now, I learned this technique from Kyle Kirkwood back when he was on the Ocala Grand Prix racing team, um, and he actually told me how to avoid getting punted. He explained it that if you know somebody's gonna hit you, make sure you trail the brake into the corner really long. If you know somebody's gonna hit you, you need to stay on the brakes without locking up as hard as you can going into the corner. A lot of the time when drivers get hit when they're getting moved, they tend to lock up the brakes super hard and just try and avoid going off the racetrack. What happens is the back end tends to lock up and you start to slide around and lose more positions than you should have. So if you know you're about to get hit, make sure you get on the brakes hard and carry them into the corner super, super late. Even go past the apex. Go as slow as you can until the cart is slowed down to the right speed. Again, the goal is to absorb the driver hitting you from behind and then slow both of you guys down. 
your exit isn't going to be good and you're probably going to have to fight with the driver on the exit going into the next corner but this allows you to not be in the barrier or off the racetrack it gives you a fighting chance going into the next corner so again if you are going to get punted or moved going into the corner make sure you get on the brakes hard and then carry them super long into the corner avoid locking up at all costs because that's not going to allow you to slow both go-karts down fast enough so there you guys have it that is how i deal with 30 drivers thank you guys so much for watching this video make sure to like and subscribe to the channel comment any cool stories you guys have dealing with a dirty driver on the racetrack i'd love to hear them make sure to follow me on my instagram and on my facebook that's where you'll get any updates on my racing career also make sure to follow my tiktok because i occasionally post on there so if you guys want to see what i'm posting on there make sure to go follow that as well thank you guys so much for watching this video and i'll catch you at the next one